hello everyone welcome to today's video in this video we are going to see how we can create a portfolio website so you see this is the portfolio website we have i have used different types of layouts so in the menu you can see home about services work testimonials you can click on these to go to the respective uh, pages so here if i click here about me so this is what we get then if i click on download cv you see it gets downloaded here then if we scroll down then these are our services that available so you can click on these and see the services then latest works so these are the different courses so basically i'm creating uh, the work portfolio for a educator so depending on your needs you can create it so view all my courses if you will click you will see all the courses present then testimonials so whoever has taken the course they have written some feedback so these will be reflected here then in order to get in touch address everything given then here you can write something and send message so here are the social connect given so here basically i am i'll be uh, telling you how to create this from the front end side okay back end is not present here so in this tutorial i will show you how to create a responsive website i'll be saving all my files uh, in the desktop so i will go to new folder then i'll give the name portfolio uh, web site okay so you can create the folder in any other drive also so this is my portfolio website folder which i have created in desktop now we will go to uh, visual studio so inside the portfolio folder i'm going to create one more folder images okay then files i will create one is ext.js then one more file i will create uh, click there it is uh, index.html where i'll be writing the html code and one more file i'll create style.css to write my css so three files and one image folder i have created files created here we can see it inside the folder also portfolio folder so these are the things now let's go back to visual studio i will go to index.html so just write exclamation mark and hit enter so this code comes automatically here so uh, let us change the title so in title i will write uh, portfolio website okay now come to the body section inside the body um, i'll be writing uh, i'll be creating one section i'll give one class name here so let us give the name banner and then i'll create one id for it let us give the name home okay now inside the section that is the banner part i'm going to write down uh, i'll first create one div so i'll just write down div then i'll give the class name i'll give the name as uh, text box and then i'll inside the div class text box box i'll create one heading of size 2 here i'll just write down uh, hi i am bunny and then i will just uh, put this bunny inside span okay so that i can do some modification here so and i'll give one break so hi i am after that bunny will come in the next line and this bunny i'll put it inside span i'll just cut bunny and paste it inside span okay so it is it will come as hi i am bunny and then next line i'll give one more uh, heading let it be h3 i'll just write down i am a programmer okay so then after these lines i want to create one button 
and I want that button to be clickable. Okay, so on clicking that button, it should go to another uh, to some other section of the page. So I'll create one anchor a h r e f inside this. For now, I'll just give hash. The later on, I'll fill it up. And here I will give some class name. Let it be B T N. And inside it, I will write down about me. Okay. So uh, that's all about the banner, uh, the HTML part. Now I will go to the folder where I have stored all the, where I have saved all the files that I have created on the desktop. So this is my index file. I'll double click it. So here you can see the modifications now let's do some styling to our html page so we will go to first html index.html and click here link it will automatically come link css so here we need in hrdf we need to give the name of the css so it is style.css okay just save it now we will go to style.css and here we are going to do the styling i'll give star so whatever i write inside the star will be reflected throughout my browser i'm going to give margin as zero now you see each time i do some modification i need to keep uh, clicking refresh so what i can go do is that go to index.html and click on go live so what will happen is that whatever modification will i will do i can see in the uh, it will be automatically updated in the in my web uh, in my page okay so this is my page i'll just place it here uh, so you adjust the pages according to your needs i'll just okay now it is fine so margin i have given zero now let me give padding zero so when i will save it it will be reflected in the web page so uh, next i'm going to give box sizing i'll give border box then uh, so these are the modifications i have done i'll just uh, save it and you can see the modifications in the page now let's go to index.html now uh, i'll be styling this section so if you see uh, i'll be using section in uh, many section parts in the entire program so first i'll so wherever section is applied i want to give some common styling i will write down section inside here i'm going to give the padding as um, say 80 pixel so refresh it so you can see 80 pixel has been added to the section area now if i see inside the section i am having the class banner so i want to style this banner specifically i will write down dot banner so whenever i we are going to style some class we need to write dot the name of the class i'll give the position as relative let me adjust it little bit okay so first i will what i'll do is that i'll write down the entire uh, styling for banner then i will refresh it okay then i am going to give the minimum height as uh, let us give 100 vh vh then um, i will add after position mini, uh, height i'll give display as flex and then i will add justify content as space between okay then i'll do few more styling i'll write down align items i'll make it um, center then i'll give some background okay so for background uh, i want the um, black color so i'll give hash 111 now if i um, okay before adding the picture i'll just um, background uh, let us cut this one one sec let us cut this one first let me uh, save this one you can see the entire background has become black so this is my I'll, I'll definitely style it later on for now i have kept it black because i like the ba black background 
now i am i'll be giving some image to the banner area so i'll write down background and then i'll give uh, it is coming back okay let me write it again now i'll give the url okay inside the url i'll give the uh, i'll write down the path of my image so if i go to the folder that i have created portfolio website inside that images inside the images um, folder i have the pick one okay so i'll give i'll it is inside image you see portfolio website images then pick one i'll write down um, images make sure that the spelling is exactly the same then inside it pick one dot png save it now let me maximize it so you can see the picture is coming but it is not coming properly okay so i want to shift the picture towards the right hand side right hand so i will write down few more uh, lines here i'll write down background size cover so that it covers the entire banner portion okay and then i will do few more modifications so you see it is covering the entire banner portion and then i'll just give few more do few more styling i'll just write down um, background position i'll make it right center okay i'll move it towards the right and then center so that's all i guess i'll just um, save it and then you can see so this is the modification that i have done inside the section uh, you see there is text box right uh, h2 so different things are there so i want to style the headings inside the banner i will write uh, to first i am going to style um, the h1 okay i want to style h uh, sorry h2 so i'll write down dot banner h2 then here i'm going to so h2 means this is hi i am that's what i'm going to style so i'll write down font uh, size let me give as 2.5 em and then i'll give the font uh, color so i'll write down color i want to give the silver color so i'll write down hash f uh, sorry 444 so this is the silver color and i'm do going to give the font weight as uh let it be 300 okay so just uh, and line space also i want to give so line height that is the the height of the line 1.5 em save it so you can see the modification so hi i am and bunny this all comes under h2 so it is coming little bit bigger now i want to modify the uh bunny section which comes under span if you see the html part let's go to the html uh, go to index.html so there you can see the span part so inside the span part this you see in uh, html part the span my name is there so i want to add some styling to it i want to um, give the font size as 1.2 em and i want to add the color uh, as white okay so i'll give hash ef 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 mm, okay fine so if i refresh it you can see the my name has been highlighted properly now i will do some styling to h3 so i will write dot banner h3 here also i will change the color i'll give it as white hash fff and then i will add the font size i'll give 1.5 em and font uh, weight i'm i'll be giving 500 okay so refresh it so you can see it is coming like this now i i'll be styling this uh, button okay btn class btn i will write here dot btn then inside it i will give uh, position relative then i'm going to give a uh, background color as green i want the green color so i'll write down hash 009 uh, e66 i'll just cut down the black is also coming i'll just cut it off let me cut this so it is green so then i want to so if i refresh it you can see it is coming as green now 
next i will give the display as inline okay inline block i will give now next i will give um, the color so color the, the color of the text i wanted black so i am giving hash 000 now i want to give some padding to it so i'll write down padding so left side i'll give uh, 10 px and then right i'll give 30 okay so if i refresh it you can see like this now i don't want this underline so i'll give uh, i want to remove the underline so i will write down uh, text uh, okay before that i'll just give some margin to it okay margin that is the 20 px so you see there is some margin between these two lines now i want to uh, remove the underline so i'll write down text decoration none so if i save it i'll save it before that i'll just add the font not font i want it to be uppercase so i need to write i think text it's not font transform it's text trans transform so i'll want to write it uppercase okay okay fine so refresh it you see it is coming like this now i want uh, to give some space between the letters so i'll write down letter spacing i'll give it uh, 2px refresh it you can see the difference now next i'll give some font weight okay so font weight i'll give 300 and finally i will add font uh, size so i'm going to give it uh, 10px okay the 10px is coming too small so i'll just increase it let me make it um, let's say 18px refresh it okay now it's looking good this is the part one of the portfolio project you can click on the part 2 link given in the description below thank you